Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install the Hyper Terminal on a Chromebook. So the first thing we want to do is enable the Linux development environment. So we can go over to the launcher here, and to enable, enable the Linux development environment, we'll find our settings, and on the left-hand side of our settings, we'll go to Advanced. From here, we'll click on Developers, and then Turn On, and then Next and install. This will take a few minutes to install, so I'll come on back when it's done. When Linux is installed, a terminal will pop up. I'll maximize the terminal and increase the font size so you can see what I'm going to do next. I want to make sure everything is up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt get update and then two ampersands, which stands for and, and then sudo apt get dist dash upgrade with a dash Y flag at the end, and I'll hit enter. Okay, now that we have the Linux development environment enabled, we can install the Hyper Terminal. I'm gonna minimize the terminal here and open a new window in my browser, and I'm gonna search for Hyper Terminal, okay? The first site that will come up is hyper.js. Let's go click on that, and we can now click on download and you'll see it has a bunch of different versions. I have an Intel based processor so this should work for Intel or AMD based processor. If you have an ARM you'd probably use this one. I don't have an ARM Chromebook so I can't speak to that. I'm going to download the .deb file. Okay once the .deb file is downloaded I'm going to click show in folder and I'm going to right click and click install with Linux. I'll then click install and OK. I can now click launch or I can find the hyper terminal in my apps. I'm going to find it in my apps and pin it to the shelf and then I'm going to click on the icon to launch. The and there we go we have hyper installed on our Chromebook. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.